Hi, I'm Steffi Domike, uh, one of the other artists uh, who created this exhibit. And this half of the exhibit we're calling Flight and Landings. It has to do with our heritage as Jews from the Pale of Settlement. And this is represented here um, in this map. We have these three sections of maps. And this map represents the Pale of Settlement and some of the um, sort of fragments of life as we heard about it. This, these boxes are sort of the fragments of our histories. Here's this one uh, up on top represents sort of the wheat that was grown. And wheat is a, is a symbol throughout this, um, this part of the exhibit, representing sort of the life force, representing the, the work that our parents uh, and, and ancestors did. Uh, my ancestors uh, were wheat traders, some of them, and Anne's parents, uh, uh, mother, and her grandparents were wheat farmers. And it was also, it's an, also an important export from the Ukraine, the uh, Pale of Settlement. And this, this box represents the pogroms, and it's an, it comes from an image that was in Harper's Weekly, and uh, that it shows uh, sort of some, some folks taking apart a, a, a house. And, and so sort of maybe there's some fires in the background, and people, our people were driven out of the Ukraine uh, by violence. And um, this one is, uh, represents the Exodus, sort of it has this, um, the names uh, of, of uh, the Sterling family on, on, on this passenger manifest. And there's images of the actual boats, that uh, the ships that carried our families away from Europe and, and to the Americas. The next uh, set of images come from my family. This is, uh, these are sort of, they represent stories that uh, were told. And one of them is, the top one is my grandfather, it's actually an image of my own great uncle, but the, the story is my grandfather jumped out a window trying to fly because he wanted to be a parachutist. But luckily he survived <laughs> and came out of the Ukraine and, and, and to, to New York. And this one is an image of my mother, uh, Joan, and we call this one Smokey Joan. And she tells a story about that she heard that, that our family were wheat traders, and they had furry animals, which she assumed were donkeys, and they took the wheat in, in bushels of wheat, big bags of wheat, and they carried it over the mountains, maybe to Moldavia. We don't know where they took the, where they took the wheat, but that's what that represents. These are sort of stories. And this map is the, um, the east coast of the United States. Now, my family sort of represents the sort of prototypical Eastern European Jewish immigrant. We arrived uh, in 1906, the Ronders arrived, and they, they came to New York. And uh, New York City was uh, sort of bursting at the seams with these new immigrants. There were uh, Jews and Italians arriving in the millions to New York. And that's when you have this sort of Ellis Island uh, image of people arriving with all their little bundles and children and whatnot and changing their names en route, right? And so this is my grandfather on the stoop with his mom and his brother and sister and, and niece and a little brother Albert. And then in the background is uh, the image of uh, the, the, the Lower East Side. And that's where a lot of Jews settled. My family actually settled in Harlem. And in Harlem, they had a tobacconist, a cigar shop. And that's what this box represents. Um, it's kind of, we're looking also to look at a little repetition of Magritte. We're thinking of some, uh, re recalling other artists. But this has some of, of that. It also has some text about uh, the exodus from the Ukraine. This one represents uh, a picnic. It's my grandfather again, my great aunt and the niece and, and great uncle. And they're uh, having a picnic, and that's a picture of Central Park. And again, uh, some of what we're looking at here is the relationship between uh, nature and culture. So Central Park is built around this time, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a park that uh, brings nature into the center of the largest city in the country. And it uh, was a destination uh, for many, many, many of these new immigrants to enjoy the, uh, the sort of natural environment. Um, the fourth one on this panel is, uh, represents a synagogue that my, uh, my great uncle Albert was involved with in um, uh, Kingston, New York. 
and uh, he was very active. He and his family were very active at Temple Emmanuel. And so uh, this one is, is reflected in the other synagogue up on the left, which is a small synagogue, tiny little rural synagogue that was built by the community at the Montefiore settlement where um, in uh, Sybold, Alberta, in Canada, which is where Anne's family settled first, when they first arrived. Uh, her family was uh, recruited to this to this settlement, there were 30 families that, that settled in this uh, Sybold in Alberta. It was a very isolated area, and, uh, and, uh, and they were all given tracts of land to farm, but very, very, very rough, difficult conditions. Two of uh, uh, Anne's, uh, an aunt and an uncle, both passed away, died of the flu when they were there, and it was really rough. They, they farmed, they... Uh, they grew oats and wheat, and so this one, this box represents some of the, the, the products of their labor. But it was a very, very difficult time. So they only stayed there, um, well, it's hard to, to tell from the records. Um, again, these boxes represent, these paintings represent sort of fragments of our history because so much is lost. So like the birds, we only know a little bit about our family histories. So. Um, we're, we're representing as much as we, we really can understand. Then we go to the West, because what happened was that um, Anne's uncle discovered California. He, he traveled from Alberta. You see this, these uh, areas that are highlighted represent the states that her family settled in. The other highlighted areas represent the states that my family settled in. And, and they're... Um, they went from Alberta, discovered California, and the orange blossoms, and the sort of beauty of that land. And her family uh, had some very successful businesses there, and the lower one represents their, their business cards that uh, we were able to find, and they had a construction company that is still in business in California, started by her uncle Ben. And. Uh, so it, the whole span of it is uh, coming from a sort of a northern, cold, forbidding climate with really uh, a lot of violence pushing our, our, our families out. We were forced into a migration across the seas, and that's what saved our lives. Um, unlike the pigeons, we were able to make that exodus. The pigeons were stuck in the continent of the Americas, and because of their inability to, to leave the continent, they went extinct. 